Hey there, good evening or afternoon or morning or whenever it is that you're watching this. Um, so this is Mr. Wright coming to you looking at the uh, robot documents. And remember you were to uh, identify the main conclusion and intermediate conclusions. Um, wrap this up into a question. And then the assignment for this week is to break these down and um, create a um, deconstruction assignment where you're looking at the intermediate conclusions um, and analyzing those. So I had a student um, say, hey, Mr. Wright, this would be a lot easier if we knew that our intermediate conclusions were accurate. And I thought, well, you know what? Um, that sounds like a great idea to me. So uh, here's a quick video to go over um, the main conclusion, intermediate conclusions. Now, as you probably already know, these two documents were not as cut and dry or straightforward as the international sporting documents. Uh, so these take a little more um, thought. The main conclusion is um, the last sentence of both documents. So um, leaving humans without unemployment, all right? That's the whole main conclusion of this is that people are not gonna have jobs. The main conclusion of document two is that robots aren't a threat, but a solution to the issues in Japan. Okay, so now let's look at intermediate conclusions. Um, intermediate conclusions for document one, really there's two that I kind of came across and they're kind of wishy-washy. Um, one, that citizens will have zero economic value. Um, and then two is that workers are going to be replaced. Now, um, the workers being replaced kind of comes into this paragraph um, at the rate, the speed that they're being replaced. And down here is that they're being replaced for intelligent machines, okay? So really there's two intermediate conclusions that I considered for this particular um, document. For document two, when we say robots aren't a threat but a solution to social issues, well, what social issues? Well, up here they are the social issues. Um, aging population, a shrinking workforce, and public dislike for immigration. But the only one that the document talks about is the workforce, okay? So when we talk about this, we're looking for how, what are the reasons, how, what is the support that robots are going to be a solution to a shrinking workforce, okay? So I felt that there were three. One, that they're going to boost efficiency. Two, that it's going to focus on service robots. And three, they're gonna be used as a recruiting tool, okay? So those are the three intermediate conclusions. Um, you may see it a little differently. You might have interpreted these a little differently, but that's what I felt, okay? So zero economic value and replacement with machines or by intelligent machines and uh, boost efficiency, service industry, service robots, and a recruiting tool, okay? Hopefully this gets you on the right path for your deconstruction assignment um, for this week, okay? Peace, love, and gummy bears. Hasta lasagna. Don't get any on you. Miss you guys, um, and I mean that. I just don't, I'm just not saying that. I miss you guys, okay? I hope you're doing well. Um, and with that, I'm gonna go. I'm waving at you, even though you can't see it, okay? All right, bye-bye.